Well, we're gonna do something a little different this week. Uh, we still have bad weather and don't wanna go out and work around in the rain. So uh, Alana and Logan um, said that they would like to paint my bathroom for me. So uh, they said they do both of them actually. So that's good news. Uh, so today I'm going to uh, prep the walls, uh, which will take a whole lot. I've got a couple of holes to fill and, and uh, I'm gonna scrub it down. And uh, they will be here. Uh, Probably, we'll probably do it next weekend. And uh, I have to go pick out my paint color, which will be exciting. Yeah, I suppose it'll be another blue since I did put down this new finish last uh, summer on my counters, or gray, maybe it'd be a blue gray. That'd be nice too with the gray, gray floors I have. So um, yeah, let me turn this around, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'll uh, show you what I've got to do here. So you see that nice hole there that uh, previous owners put in. I've got these old brackets to take down that were uh, with these mirrors. And um, uh, let's see, I'll take this down, this little towel thing. It's gotten pretty rusty over the last few years. This uh, bracket right here will stay on the wall. They'll paint around it. Uh, the lights will stay here. Hopefully I'll put a new light bulb in. Um, let's see. There's only one window in the bathroom. Up in the corners, whether you can see it or not, there's a little bit of uh, old mold stain because the uh, ventilation in this room is not all that good. So we're gonna put some kills on there. Take care of that. Um, paint the ceiling. These are new fixtures in the bath and the shower, so they're, they are fine. And I won't change this one out either. It's good. Uh, I know there's no holes behind this picture because I put it down there. Lana painted that for me one year for my birthday. Isn't that neat? She's so talented. Okay, so I think we are ready. Catch up with you when we get the paint color picked out. Well, I think this little uh, screwdriver right here should help. If you've ever done one of these before, you know that uh, finding a little screw screwdriver certainly helps because uh, these are not the easiest things to, to uh, undo. Let's see if this works. I seem to have it in there. See if I can get it to turn. That's the next thing. Uh huh. Does not want to turn. What do I do? Tighten it up? I think I tightened it up. Let's see if we can find this again. No, that should untighten it. Should untighten it. Huh. I'm not the strongest person on earth, that is for sure. There, did I do it? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm on my way anyway. Here it comes. Let's shut that sink. See what I mean? And then it fastens through here and then hooks onto the bracket. Yeah. So I'm finished taking it off. All right, now we have the plasterboard hooks, which need to come out. 
And I think I'll try to take them off with, let's see, no, that won't work. We'll try to take it off with this. It's got a little bit of a blade on it without scraping up everything else. Hmm. I wonder if I put the screw back in, I could pull them out. I'll see. Might be able to. Oh, and it busted it up. Doggone it. Oh, it's easy fix. All right. Well, <clears throat> there's that. <clears throat> All right. Let's try the other one. I won't pull quite so hard on this one. Put my hand up here to help keep it on there, maybe. There it comes. You see it's coming out? Ah, okay. Well, they're out. All right. Take the end of that screwdriver. Put that all on there. Okay. A little bit of plasterboard paper is what that is. And there's a, there'll be another one put up there, but I'll go ahead and fill these holes. And uh, let it dry. And then probably fill them again. Make sure that everything's good and flat. Could put a little glue on that paper, I guess, but I think this will glue it down just fine. I think. Get enough on there. And then uh, after it dries, then you sand everything down. So it's flush with your wall. Let me put a little bit underneath there. Okay, there we go. And uh, I'll probably let that go just like that for tonight. Tomorrow we'll fill the holes up. Um, the same, same with these that I did earlier. See, they look real rough now. But um, I'll put some more filler on them. Send them down. Not they dry again, of course. And then send them down. They'll be very good. Very good. All right. Well, I'm glad to have that done. All right. Well, actually, that's just about all I have to do in this bathroom now, I think. All right. Well, phase one is done. I had uh, mopped my, or cleaned my ceiling, and there was still a little bit of mold stain. And so uh, I suggested to the kids that they use some uh, kills spray that I had on hand. And so it covered up the mold spray, uh, stain real well. So phase one done. I used the edger on the extension pole today this morning and I uh, did these corners here uh, I didn't think I'd dare try to touch the ceiling because I didn't want to be cleaning up the messes so I went around the tub down and on the floor I got this bar taken care of uh, went around this and up in there and then down here and this wall. So I should save you quite a little bit of time. I'm not sure how you can reach this corner over here though. Oh yeah, it's gonna be hard. But I guess you did the other one. Um, take the light sheets down and give them a good clean and they are really, really dirty. So anyway, and I didn't dig back in here. I can't bend over like that. Okay. So I hope that helps. Okay. And this is the other bathroom. 
So it got all done. A nice big mirror in it. Same color of paint as in the other bathroom. And a cool shower curtain. <gasps> Love that shower curtain. And then uh, this happens to have a closet back in the back here, which, uh, yeah, got all painted. All right. Thanks for watching. Sorry, I'm sweaty. <laughs> I'm too. Do it.